The study of basic microRNA function has been performed mainly through the collection of tissues by invasive methods. However, in a clinical setting, more convenient and non-invasive methods are required, such as collection of peripheral blood or other bodily fluids. For those of you currently collecting samples from patients or working on development of a clinical test, we have put together some recommendations for sample collection and preservation and for RNA extraction methods from bodily fluids. Recently, it has been demonstrated that microRNAs are present in circulating blood plasma, both free circulating and within exosomes, as well as within other biofluids such as cerebral spinal fluid, urine, and even breast milk. Circulating microRNAs in biofluids represent a potential new approach for diagnostic screening. Indeed, characteristic changes in the serum or plasma microRNA profiles of several cancers or other conditions have identified unique signatures that could be exploited as novel biomarkers in the clinic. It is important to remember that biofluids of all human and animal subjects should be considered potentially infectious. As a general recommendation, avoid multiple freeze-thaw cycles of the fluid samples and aliquot to the appropriate volume for usage prior to freezing. For whole blood samples, we recommend collection in Norgan Biotech's blood RNA preservative tubes or Tempest blood RNA tubes. For serum samples, use untreated tubes. And for plasma samples, use anticoagulant treated tubes, for example, EDTA treated or citrate treated tubes. Heparinized tubes are not recommended. For all blood product samples, it is important to follow the tube manufacturer's recommendations for collection protocol and be sure to keep the samples cold and limit the time to analysis. For collection of urine samples, we recommend Norgan's Urine Preservation Tube. First void midstream urine is highly recommended. For cerebral spinal fluid, saliva and breast milk sample types, use untreated tubes for collection. Be sure to centrifuge the samples prior to aliquoting and freezing to remove cell contamination and or fat globules. We recommend Norgan's RNA purification kits for extracting total RNA and or exomal RNA from all biofluid samples because these kits do not require phenol chloroform or any protease treatments. RNA can be isolated from either fresh or frozen samples and the kits allow the user to elute into a flexible elution volume ranging from 50 microliters to 5 milliliters. For extracting RNA from biofluid samples except urine for microRNA analysis, select the appropriate kit based on your sample input volume. For urine samples, RNA can be extracted from either the total urine or just the exosomes within the urine sample. Typical yields of free circulating and exosomal RNA vary depending on the input sample, as the amount of RNA present in the biofluid will depend upon the health status of the individual. Normally, the RNA yield from biofluid is highly variable and may range from 1 to 100 nanograms per milliliter. For this reason, it is likely that these RNA samples will require amplification prior to downstream analysis. You should also expect to see lower than normal UV ratios for RNA extracted from biofluid samples. Please contact us if you are unsure. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or send us an email at info at lcsciences.com.